I should even be here. I was dead. I won't walk a miracle. At this moment, how are you in yourself? I'm good, thank you. Um, I thank God every day that I'm alive. To see, you know, my mom, my fiance, my son, when you've been to a hospital for a month and you're not able to do certain things, just to be able to have the freedom of of walking around and doing stuff, it's great. I'm, I'm just enjoying life right now. Everyone who knows you said you always had a big heart, but now not only have you got a big heart, you've got two hearts, as I understand it. <laughs> yeah, I have one here, yeah. and one here, so uh, that can help as well. But you can actually feel it. Do you mind? Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead, this one here. But that's inside your skin? Yeah. Can you hear that? Yeah, see you hear that? Yeah. And that one's there to kickstart the original one. The original one, if it happened again, that can just kicked off at any time. I had, I had a choice, where can I have it? So I thought this is probably... Yeah, that's where that's kind that's of where God it. sort of intended it, really. Yeah. That's as near as possible, yeah. isn't it? Going back to that day, what was the last thing you remember before it all went dark? Well, I remember is when I was running back. I started to feel dizzy. No one was around me, but I keep hearing waiters screaming my name to come back. David Wita, I would just, you know, if I come back here. I bet he felt guilty afterwards, didn't he? <laughs> uh, I'll actually see him tonight, so, <laughs> you know. But I, I just, it just got blurry then, I just, I don't know, just, you know, hit my head in the ground. I just gone. The next minute I woke up, I was in the hospital, surrounded with so much wire inside me. You know, it, 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 was, it was scary. It was very, very scary. I must give you great strength here, looking at all these cards. Oh yeah, every day we still go for it. And kids send me messages and stuff like that, so it, it, it's overwhelming. People put the time in to write this and to send to me and then... Poetry as well? Yeah. Sometimes when I read it, I have to, you know, take a moment and read us and how grateful I am. What about your little boy? What does he make of it? Is he... Uh... You know, uh, when he came first time to see me in the hospital because I had um, blood transfusion yeah. in my neck, some kind, you know, he kept pulling. I said, "Listen, you can't pull this. This is what keeps that going, you know." That's where I went to school, Kemsworth school, school. Where's that? In Wolverhampton, East London. You look like a president of a medium-sized country on no. that uh, on that picture. The only problem I have is my memory is not really the best how it used to be. In what, in what way is it? Like, um, I repeat myself quite a lot. I ask something a question and then 10, 20 minutes later I ask the same question. Blokes do tend to repeat themselves tediously more and more as they get older, you know that, don't you? <laughs> yeah. It might just be part of the ageing process. Nah, I don't think this is part of my, 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 my sickness that I have. I'm, my memory is not the best at the moment. My brain is slowly, slowly getting back. As we speak, you're preparing to go to watch Bolton play Tottenham tonight. Are yeah. you sure a relegation battle is, is the right thing to do for a man in your condition? Uh, I'm, I'm, my condition is all right. It's right. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the game today, to be fair. Are you nervous about going? Yeah. Because this is the first time I've been to the stadium for a while, you know? So, you know, the question people dare to ask about, will you play football again? That's almost irrelevant to you. Just walking around the house for the time being will do you. Right now, I just want to recover and you know, spend time with my family, my son, my mother, my fiancé. Because you know, I, was, I was dead for 78 minutes, but, you know, right now, I'm just taking my time. This must be the, I don't know if it's the pride of the collection, but it's certainly uh, the biggest. That's young Fab in his Arsenal kit, and then... Them guys took the time to do this for me, and I appreciate that, you know. This message from everybody, my best friend Johan, you know, he says, Deya, yeah, yeah. that's my name that he calls me. Yeah. My brother from another my mother. mother. Yeah, my youth team coach, and you know, say don't worry about the penalty I missed, I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about that penalty bit versus Brentford. Yeah. It's an amazing thought when you came out at the beginning of that game and you lined up and there's, what, 40-odd thousand people 
at Spurs. You know, one of them is the cardiologist who, who saved your life, you know. God works in a mysterious way and uh, that doctor had to be at the stadium, you know. He's amazing. He's definitely a God angel. Before he got on there, Dr Tobin, the Bolton doctor, yeah. once you'd hit the ground, how long did it take him to get onto the... Onto the I think four seconds for him to come on the pitch and to um, give me the CPR. So he was lip to lip with you on the uh, <laughs> on the pitch. You could say that he was uh, trying to resist me in that sense. Yeah, he was giving me mouth to mouth. What does he say about it then? About that moment? <laughs> I can't tell you. I can't tell you that. It's too much information on that <laughs> one. It's too much. Too much. And Doctor Sam, yeah. under whose care you were at the London Chess Hospital, did he believe you were going to survive from the beginning? I, I don't think anybody believed that would survive. You know, Dr. Sam said to me, when I was leaving the hospital, I said, I, I, wouldn't believe, I wouldn't believe that you were leaving this hospital, you know. Were you conscious by the time poor Pierre Mario Morosini had died on the pitch at the age of 25 in Italy? Yeah. Did you... That, that, that was hard to take, you know. It was very, very, very hard. Just to, to be able to imagine what has happened to him, but it also happened to me. I survived, but he didn't, so it, it's, it's hard to take sometimes. I'm just I'm glad I'm alive. Trust me, Adrian, I'm just glad I can be able to walk. Just to be, not anything else, just to walk freely. It gets really emotional about this sometimes because I shouldn't even be here. And I, I, I was gone already, but God, we're working stuff and it's, it's incredible. So do you look at this now, does it feel like a different person? Um, Is there kind of a before what happened and an after what happened for Bree? So this guy's got one heart, this guy's got two hearts. Yeah. <laughs> so. If miracle, if people don't believe in miracle, I'm a walking miracle. <laughs>